I'm going to give you two plate, a uh, positive plate on the top, and I'm going to give you what type of plate you think? Negative. Negative, Negative plate. Negative plate at the bottom. Okay, so now the field. Can you guess the field, the direction of the field lines? Mm. I, I down, down. Down? Okay, down. From so, where? From, from, positive, from, to, from positive. positive to negative? Yeah, from okay. positive to negative. So Since these... positive would extend outward and negative would uh, extend inwards. Alright, so these are the these are the field lines, right? Okay, so we're just going to keep only two. I'm going to put a charge inside here, a positive charge, and I'm going to give you the value, 200 microcoulomb. I want to give you the distance between these two, 10 centimeters. I also want to give you the voltage. The voltage is 100. 100 voltage. What I want you to find is the strength of, do you think there is a magnitude of this electric field? Yes. So I want you to find the magnitude of the electric field. We already know the direction. Now I want you to find the magnitude of this electric field. And I also want to find the electric force. Now let's find the electric field first. What is the formula for electric field? Do you remember? Uh, is it F over Q? Uh huh. F over Q won't work because do we have F? No. We do not have F. So F over Q won't work. So I'm going to use a V over D. Is that okay? Where did that come from? Oh, I never teach you that? No. Okay. So then this is going to be part of that lesson. So today I'm going to uh, teach you how we can get V over D. But let's continue and finish it. Okay? What would be the voltage? Mm, 200 microcoulombs. No, 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 no. Voltage is 100. You understand the voltage, like potential difference is this is 100 voltage, this is zero voltage. Does that make sense? Uh -oh. There is a voltage drop. If this is 100, this is 80, this is 60, this is 40, this is oh. 20, this is zero. Right? It's just like the electric circuit. Uh, we talked about electric circuit before, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is yeah. plus, this is minus, right? Mm -hmm. If the voltage is 20 voltage, then this is 20 voltage, this is 0 voltage. Does oh. that make sense? And there is a voltage drop. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, what is V? I'll pause the video and try your own. V is 100 volts. 100 voltage. And what is our D? 0.10 meters. 0.10 because you have to divide by 100 so 0.1 meter and that would be 1000 volts per meter and that would be 1000 uh, newtons per uh, newtons per coulomb, coulomb. Yeah. Per coulomb. because electric films as a unit is newton per coulomb right we get yeah. we get yeah. it so force force is e q right what yeah. is our e uh, v 1000 newton coulomb and q is 200 Times 10 raised to negative 6 coulomb. Don't forget that. All right, point yeah. two meter. Is that what you got? Uh, yeah, it's uh, 20,000 minus 6 zeros. Point two. Okay, very good. Now, lesson plan. Don't forget that I'm going to help you understand this. And also, I'm going to help you understand the voltage drop concept. Okay? <laughs> so now, start the lesson. Let's start with our conversation from Duna. So, if you remember correctly that I gave you two plates, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I gave you the field lines, right? So the field lines is from positive to negative. negative. Okay. Now, very good. Now, what can we learn from here? Mm. What can we learn from here? This is the field lines, right? Now yeah. we can put two charges. Oh. We can put a positive over here and we can put negative. a negative. A negative over here. Positive. Alright. 
So now we want to draw the force. So force vector on the positive one, on the red one. What is the direction of the force vector? Um, south. South. Yeah, south. I agree. Very nice. So should we use the as red? Well as the left yeah, field. you should use yeah, that. Yeah, that makes sense. So. Uh, what would be the force vector on the negative one? No, no. Oh. Opposite the direction of the field. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay. So now, let's understand something, and that is the work. What is work? Equation uh, for the work. FD. FD. Yeah. Okay. Now, F is, we already know what is F. Oh. F is EQ. EQ. So then E Q D D very nice very nice very nice. What is D by the way? Um, y F minus y, y initial I and Y final, right? Oh yeah. So now W we're gonna say the W is electric potential. Is that does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Electric potential. Okay. Electric change of electric po change of electric potential. E Q uh y y minus, y. minus y initial. All right, but I have a question. All right. Why is the uh, electric potential energy negative? Yeah. Why is it? Okay, I'm gonna use an analogy, um, the gravitational analogy to help you understand it. Okay. So stick, um, stick with me for a second. Okay. 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 I'll help you understand that. Okay. So that electric potential is equal to E Q. Y, right? Mm -hmm. EQ. Alright, so electric potential we can write Q E Y, right? Q. Have you ever seen something like that? MGH. Mm. Uh, gravitational potential oh. energy is oh. MGH. Oh, I got yeah. it. So G M is Q. G M M, M is e. no M not G is Q. M oh. is Q. M is Q. G is E. And, and H is one. Because H uh, it's the same thing as one. It's the distance for height. G is a constant, just like E. And L, Q. Also, it can vary, but also always constant. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, help you, let, help you, um, let's give you that analogy to help you understand that. So, the analogy that I was talking about, let's have a field, a soccer field. Is that okay? Okay, sure. Soccer field, you can have a soccer ball, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, there is a soccer ball. Now I want to draw. I want you to draw the projectile. Uh, I want you to draw the uh, what is it? Trajectory of a kick ball. What would be the trajectory of a kick ball? Is this a is this a trajectory of a kick ball? Yeah. Oh yeah, parabola. Yeah. If you kick the ball, that's how it should look like, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna make half of them black and half of them green for a reason. Okay. Yeah. To help you understand something. Okay. All right. So now, at the top, why the top is important? Um, velocity is zero. Oh, yeah. oh, y yeah. comp. What component of the velocity is zero? Why? Because gravity had overtaken it at that point, and just like I mentioned in my lectures, it goes down. Very good. Very good. Very good. My student also give lecture. That's good. <laughs> All right. Now. The work done over here, work done by gravity, is what? Positive or negative? Can you tell me? Mm, negative? Yes, negative. Do you know why? Um, okay, let me explain I'm why. Sure. Okay. The displacement. What is the direction of the displacement from here to here? However, direction of the force is... Oh, damn. Direction of gravity the force is Gravity is angry at we want, so right. the force is down. Yeah. But the displacement is up since so, it's still going oh, up. Opposite direction. So w so, equals negative times plus, so, so which is equal to negative. So oh. if if the direct, if the displacement if the displacement and the force are opposite direction, then what done by gravity is negative. negative. Because f is minus d is plus minus right. times plus is minus. That's right. We're gonna use this Newtonian physics idea to the electricity in a second. But let's find let's find out the potential energy. Potential energy positive. Does that make sense? Yeah. What about the kinetic energy? Mm, negative. Negative. Okay. Why negative? Because the speed is 
decreasing. The speed is decreasing. All right. Uh, then the work is also negative. Negative. Okay. Now let's. So change of k is in negative. Change of k is negative. Because I was taught that work kinetic energy theorem a oh. while uh, ago, so that connects here. Yeah. Oh, very nice. All right. Now that. change of kinetic energy is negative. Uh, the, according to the first law of thermodynamics, uh, the uh, potential energy has to make up for that. So it rises, just like the height uh, of the soccer ball rises as it gets kicked. Good point. However, who defeats it? Who slows down? Gravity. Gravity. <laughs> gravity. Yeah. Acceleration due to gravity slows down. <laughs> because acceleration gravity, acceleration due to gravity also? Yeah. The, also a vector, also point downward. But let's oh. not put too many arrows, okay? Yeah. Uh, Alright, now the other side. What is the work done by gravity? Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Why? Because the displacement vector is negative mm -hmm. and the force vector is negative. 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 When they both are at the same direction, folks, then what do we have? We have work done is positive. Uh, what about the potential energy? Uh, potential energy? Negative. Negative. What about oh, the kinetic energy? Positive. Because positive. it starts accelerating <laughs> oh, downward. Yeah, it's speeding up. Right. Yeah. It's speeding up, so up, up, up. V, uh, the gets increased exponentially. That's right. Very nice. All right. Now let's uh, connect the idea. Let's connect the idea. <laughs> let's connect the idea. So I have this uh, positive uh, plate we've been talking about. I have this negative plate. We've been talking about. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna have what? What I'm gonna have? I'm gonna have a positive Theo. charge. I'm gonna have a oh, positive charge. <laughs> Just like football. I'm gonna have a football. Did I have a football over here? Yeah. In order to move the football, what do you have to do? Work. No, you have to kick the football. Yeah. Oh. You have to give it a velocity. You have mm -hmm. to give it a yeah, yeah, of course, okay. work, force, this and that, but you have to kick the football, you have to give the football some and, uh, velocity. And the, you, the average girl would probably uh, burst it up in the air, so uh, that would give it a little vertical velocity. Alright, now yeah. let's, let's, let's draw the force diagram. Who's, no, not force diagram. Let's draw the well, electric field. Electric field is this way, right? Yeah. Down. Whatever the force, force vector. Force also vector. down. Also down. <laughs> So, in order to move it up, in order to move it up, because it doesn't look to go up, right? Why it doesn't look to go up? Like charges. Like charges oh, repel. Yeah. yeah. This ball, football, and doesn't look, doesn't like to go up. <laughs> this, this, I have it. Does it like to go up? No. Does it like to go up? No, it doesn't like to go up because the acceleration due to gravity. Yeah. But can I send it up? Yeah. yeah. By a plane? Uh, initial velocity. velocity by applying little velocity i can send it up good yeah. <laughs> good, good good very good so i have to apply some initial velocity initial velocity all right i have to apply some velocity this is force you said right yeah who wins force in this case who wins gravity uh what what slow down is this slowing down slowing down slowing down slowing down slowing down slowing down Zero. Velocity is slowing down, slowing down, and velocity? Zero. Zero. Alright, this slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. At some point, the velocity oh. is? Zero. zero. At the maximum point, velocity is zero, oh. and then? Changes direction. Yeah. And then it changes the direction, finally. And then, what would be the force vector now? It's still? It's still to the down. Yeah. It's still to the down, force vector. Now, in this case... Because gravity can't change. It can only magnitude now, but it will always be down unless you're floating in space That's right, very good now what done is positive or negative mm. Mm, negative why because the displacement is opposite to the force opposite to the force good very nice work is positive or negative positive work is positive because displacement is same direction as force what about the potential energy Potential, uh, electric potential. Mm -hmm. um, electric potential is equivalent to potential energy. Yeah. Electric potential. So, positive. Oh, Why? Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Because the work is negative, kinetic energy is negative. Well, that, uh, but potential 
other idea is positive, positive. so uh, electric potential is positive. Positive is because, I think you can confused, positive because if it is very close to the higher point, then it can, for example, for example, oh, it here, has a lot of energy. It has a lot of energy. Oh, the okay. higher it is, because it's due to height. Yeah. Due to height. height. The more height you have, the more gravitational potential you have. The mm. more height you have, yeah. the more electric potential you mm. have. Does that quite make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's okay. like you, you have a ball on a hill. Right. It isn't moving, but since it, ha it has such a higher height, it has the potential to move. And it also has that energy stored in it. So uh, it releases all that energy as soon as you poke it and make it roll down the hill. That's correct. So then, uh, kinetic energy? Negative. Uh, electric potential energy? De negative. Uh, kinetic energy? Increasing. Okay, good. Positive. Now, did I answer your question? Do you now understand? Yes. Very good. Now, let's give you the exit slip. Okay. Let's finish today's remote learning with an exit slip. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, we, have, we have class every day. <laughs> Can we help each other after school? You've never helped me uh, in the school anyway. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to give you the same problem. Why not? Making your life a little easier and uh, nicer. Plus, 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 plus. Minus, 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 minus. This is uh, the electric field. Okay? This is the electric field. This is the distance, 10 centimeter. I said before. This is the 200 microcoulomb. I said before, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Now let's move it over here. Let's put it over here. Let's put it uh, over here. Yeah, 200 microcoulomb, right? Yeah. And this is the distance is point uh, 80 centimeters. If the whole thing is one, uh, 10 centimeter, this must be 8 centimeter, right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so what I want you to find is, um, hmm. we already know, I want you to find electric, oh, 100 volts I gave you before, right? Yeah. What else I gave you before? That's it, right? That's it, yeah. And you found electric uh, field, right? Yeah. Electric field was 1000 Newton coulomb, right? Uh -huh. And you found electric force, so it says 0.2 newton, right? Yes. Okay, so electric field is what is electric field? Electric field is how much? 1000 1, newtons per newton coulomb. coulomb. And electric force, electric force is what direction? Uh, down. Down? Yeah. And uh, 0 0.2? Yeah. Newton? You talk about it. Electric force can be smaller than electric field. You, you said it yesterday, right? You yeah. did. Electric force can be smaller than? Electric field, and this is the case. Okay, <laughs> very good, very good. The arrow, the green arrow, is bigger than that. Red arrow. Red arrow. Okay, now what can you find? Electric potential. Oh. All right, we're gonna find electric potential. What? Is now pause the video and try your own. This is the equation I gave you for electric potential, mm -hmm. folks. E Q D. Oh, that's good. Uh, Q E Y. Great. Right? Yeah. Always remember. If you cannot remember that, M G H. What is M? What is G? E. What is H? D. Or Y. Okay. So what is Q? Uh, 200 times 10 to the minus 6. What is E? Uh, 1000 newtons per coulomb. And what is Y? Uh, 0 0.08. <laughs> Very good. 0 0.08. And that would be what? Um, use your calculator and give me the answer. <laughs> um, let's see. 0 0.016 0 0.016? Oh my god, he is he's human right. like, He is like Shakuntala Devi mm -hmm. You know Shakuntala Devi? No. Sorry, remember the, sto uh, uh, the story I told you when I was lecturing? I told you I ate a calculator and then I became one No, no, yeah, that's right, you are human calculator But there is another human calculator in the world Whose name is Shakuntala Devi You know her? Mm -hmm. She is Indian Okay, anyway, what is the answer? I forgot. Um, 0 0.016. 0 0.016 Joule, right? Okay. Alright guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.